together. Oh, it's on. There I am. Hey everyone, I'm Liam. That's Sunil. And when he's down there, just um, looking unhappy. <laughs> Oi. Anyway, today we're doing our Q and A finally. So um, while we're going to do this, we're going to be eating our wedding cake testers, which we have right, which we have here. right here. And we're going to pick, so pick which ones we think everyone at the wedding should have. We get to pick three different ones because there's three but parts we've got of the a whole cake. Box. It is so heavy. We've got a whole box here. I don't know. Let's see what we got. I already took one bite. I didn't. You're not meant to eat them. I was hungry. Watching us. Okay. Okay, so we've sat down and we're about to. There's heaps of cake in there. There's so much cake. So let's do this. Well, you can have this first because I already had a bite of the caramel espresso. Espresso? That's what it says. Espresso. Ex espresso? No. Espresso it means you're going somewhere on the express quickly. You get, you're eating this quick, it's an espresso. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I rated that an eight. He loves coffee. Let, let's put the used ones in there. Okay. So we know. Can I have more? No, 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 no. Oh. All right, so we'll get to the questions too while we're, while we're trying to do this, but just to see how much cake we've got. Can you see that? We're not going to eat all that. It's going to be a long video. Alright. First question. So we did this on our Instagram. When did we do this? On the holidays. Yeah. So we're a bit late. Um, so here we go. How did you two meet? Alright. First of all, Tanil was the one that creeped me, weren't you? How's that? Well, that, was, that wasn't too bad. What's this one called? Malted. That was actually pretty good. Malted chocolate and hazelnut. Oh. I'm still giving it Anyone who out. knows me knows I love hazelnut gelato. So, let's score these. I am i don't want to say 10 straight off the bat. I'll give it an 8 because it is good. But and it it's leaves room for improvement. Raspberry in it? Okay. Alright, how did we meet? How we met was virtually, I was on Instagram one day and I'm sliding through, just like, oh, getting all these likes, just thinking I'm the man. Mm. Anyway, came across this one chick, Tanil Baldwin, and um, I was like, ooh, here we go, what is this? Anyway, tapped on it. Tapped on it. Tapped on it. And then um, saw that uh, you were at a sushi bar recently before, like, as you liked that photo, which was local, which is at Victoria Point. Yep. And um, I go, no way, this chick's local. All right, I might just see a little bit more. Anyway, I went, I went full creep. Went on to Facebook, went into friend, re friend request mode, add her as a friend, slid into the DMs with a hey. That's how we all, do. well, this is before Tinder, so I don't know how you do it now. I'm pretty sure you just swipe right, that's it, you're dating. Yeah, um, it'd be so hard being single now. <laughs> anyway, so got chatting to Tanil, and I said, what did I say? I don't know. I don't know, it's sort of just been hey, like your general chat that you do when you're trying to meet a chick, like, that's but how it was so, um, yeah, it was so funny. Anyway. It was so funny. Oh, we haven't got to that, that, that have we? Well, no, this is, okay, this is why, okay. um, when I asked, like, oh, you're local, that's cool. Anyway, I, I was in Melbourne at the time, and, um, I was planning to come back on Australia Day, what was this, 2000 and... I should know this by now, 2001, I mean 2000, <laughs> 2011, 2011, I remember there being a one, uh, anyway, so, 2001. I was coming back on Australia Day in 2011, no, it was, 
It's 2009 now. We've known 2013. each other. 2013. No, no way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I was 21. Oh, it's hot in here. Anyway, so I asked her, oh, whereabouts in Cleveland do you live? Well, yeah, that's where uh -huh. I found out. Yeah. Anyway, I asked, oh, so whereabouts in the Redlands do you live? You said Cleveland. I was like, oh, no way. So do I. What street do you live in? Anyway, my, it was safer times I back was, then. I lived directly behind him. Yeah. She said the street address. I was like, no Yeah, way. I told her what street I lived on. Like, yeah. who does that? What time she was home, what time she wasn't. No. Um, and then, um, so I was like, oh my God, well, I come back on Australia Day. Let's meet up. Anyway, so. Came home. Came home. I grabbed my mum's car because my Pick car was, um. It was still sick, it just, the door didn't open because... No, it was a piece of shit. Alec, it was a piece of shit, it's still getting around. Anyway, <laughs> Alex one day, he, um, my drummer of Take Us To Vegas, he um, was opening the door. He was you dobbed like, Alex in. Yeah, well he did, he broke it. Anyway, he, he, had, he, no, he was getting the car, it. he was getting the car, it should was raining, it. he um, closed the door, slammed it shut and just ripped the interior door off and just fully broke it off. Anyway, so needless to say, got the door shut and it was just sealed shut after that. Like, the only way it could be opened was from the outside. So, if I told Tanil to get in, it's like, oh, guess what? You can't get out. That would have been a bit scary. Yeah. So, yeah, he picked me up in his mum mum's car and then we went to a local bar called Icon. Had a few drinks, had a few cocktails and then... The friendship started. Friendship started and then... There you go. There you go. Like the, a lot of history came after that. That's how it all happened. But the next question: How did you two become official, or when did you two become official? Well, well, wait, can I just say the next cake? No. So I rated the chocolate and hazelnut one. Seven. Seven. Okay. Oh, it was nice, but it wasn't like holy shit. I need more right now. So this one is. Caramel and almonds. Mm. Oh my god. The sponge is so moist. What a word. It is. It's, a, it's not a very yes, good word. This nice cake word. is moist. It's not a very good word. But very moist. It's so moist. Like, yes. Oh my god. I'll she still give amazing. that an eight. Okay. Right. So quickly to... Right, next question. When did you two become official? Well, I was on tour at the time and um, we were coming home from Sydney and I remember I got the message from Tanil because we were in the, the zone where it was, um, look, what are we? Are we dating or are we friends? Because I need to know. She gave me the ultimatum. I gave him the ultimatum. I had a 12-hour so, drive to think about it. So this was... Okay, so we met in January... And this was in September. Yep. Anyhow, so yeah, had the longest drive of my life because it wasn't just, you know, at the time it was like, oh, do I just want a girlfriend? It's, do I want a wife? <laughs> do I want a future? Anyhow, finally get home, back to, we we're playing with that band Weedus, Teenage Dirtbag Band. Mm -hmm. And um, Tanil came to the show. We played the show. Pretty good show. And, um, I can't remember much. Because you're just in awe of this guitarist on stage. It's like, oh, totally. I hope he just asked me to be his boyfriend. Just melting. I mean, I hope he asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> um, anyway, that's yeah, so I, I, our next question. Yeah, I came on stage, went up to her, gave her a kiss, and said, Will you be, Will you be my girlfriend? And I said, Of course. Of course. Alright, next question. Of course. Alright. I got a question for Liam. Yeah. What is my worst habit? Your projectile air vomits. <laughs> Everyone knows Tanil. Tanil burps, like, you know, there's a burp, but then there's a projectile air vomit. It's like, oh, it's, it brings the house down, well, it shakes it's, the windows. It's got to come out some, somewhere, hey? Yeah, not like volcanic. Winnie, our bubble wants to come up. So yeah, that's that's Daniel's straight up worst habit. So burping, I don't think that's that bad. Like everyone burps. It's terrible. It makes me want to vomit. All right. What's my worst habit? <laughs> v 
biting your nails and leaving them laying around the house. I find them on the couch, like I'll be sitting there and something will be stabbing me in the leg and it's a nail. I, he took my car one day and then I looked down under my, like where the pedals are, whatever they're called. They're called there's pedals. Na there's, <laughs> there's nails, like actual, like, you know, I would. Hey, I, I might have just come home from Bunnings, so they might have been actual nails. No, but I haven't chewed my nails in over a decade or whatever, I don't know. And it's like he goes, chew, 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 and it's like a full nail. So that's your, that's probably your worst habit. It was my worst habit, but what's happened this year? This year I made a deal with myself, I went cold turkey, stopped biting my nails, and there's white bits on all of them. I know, I'm really proud. It got to the point where Tennille had to say, Liam, you're going to have to cut them. Yeah, because they're getting too long. Sometimes you just got to go in and just do what's right. So we had to cut them. So I did it. What is this flavour? This one is vanilla. So I have a good I feel like idea. Like that. I feel like I'm going to like it. I feel like it's going like, to taste like vanilla. You like vanilla. Why do you keep getting the middle bit? That's how you got to take You don't take a bite from the other side. No, it's too messy. We'll just take a bigger bite. Okay. You're getting crumbs here. Why didn't you say I'm a messy eater? That would have been like more, real, you know, I don't know. He's a messy eater. And he's someone in the kitchen. He'll cook and all that. And then just leave shit everywhere. Yeah, Crumbs, at, least, at least I do cook. Sauce. At least I do cook. I cook. You don't cook. I do cook when he's on here. He's at, he's at I'm not. Yeah, exactly. You're when on, I'm not here. You're on night shift five, five days I a week. I cook for both of us. You cook when I'm not here. When you have, have you to cooked eat. for both of us? You not uh, at home. All the time. <laughs> you're on night shift. Uh, Guys, he's on night shift five nights a week. Four nights. Four nights, whatever. Anyhow. We're having a domestic. How old are you both? I rate this a five. Are you? But it's so you're delicious. Five. I rated a five for our wedding, like cake. It, I don't know, like. But I would eat that. Well, uh, that's a Woolies cake. Don't say that. No, I'm just mean. kidding. But it's, it's so plain. It's vanilla. Yeah, I don't think it's like really wedding. No wedding appropriate. It, it's um Woolies Deluxe. Um, okay, how old are you both? I'm 28, turning 29 in July. And Tanil? I'm 29, turning and 30 in May. <laughs> Cougar. I am a cougar. Just wanted the young toy boy. Toy boy, yep. Yeah, that answers that question. Cool, let's go. <laughs> Favourite food? Mexican. Mine is seafood. A seafood, I eat it. Love seafood. No, nah, seafood linguine is probably my top food. Yeah. Other than that, prawns, oysters, bugs, lobsters. We love seafood. We go to seafood or you can eat buffets. We go there usually on an event, like an anniversary or something, down yes. the Marriott at the Gold Coast. I think it's like, what is it, like 65 bucks, or you can yeah. eat seafood. And Some might like, think that's expensive, but... You, you just don't eat for a week. But he eats, like, $200 worth. Oh, yeah, I give him money's worth. Yeah. For both of us. Alright, so that's good. Mexican seafood, we love seafood. Pretty much, oh, yeah. We like, we like Mexican too, don't you? Yeah. I'm Mexican and you're Mexican. Um, do you own your own home? Yes, we do. We own part of it. The bank the, owns the rest. The bank owns most of it. But yes, we built our house in 2015. I think it was 15 at the end we started. Yeah, so we've been in here for three years. Oh, three years? Well, it's getting on to a four. Uh, at the end of the year, will be four years. Yeah. This one is chocolate and peach. Chocolate and peach? Mm. Peach? Really? I didn't hear about peach. Yeah, but you can taste the peach. You go, you're eating up the middle this time. Look how I'm Chocolate wearing. and peach. Guys, that says... I'd give it a six too. Rose water. You probably can't read that. I swear I saw the word peach. Yeah, they're pe pe oh, petal and peach. That's, that's her company. Oh. <laughs> so the lady that's doing our wedding cake. Um, her company is called Petal and Peach. So yeah, <laughs> it's dark chocolate and rose water. Okay. Um, mm. How many oh. kids? Yep. 
Mm. I gave it a six. Oh, I feel like the guests will really love that because it's like the ch it's like a mud cake, which everyone loves. But then you got the rose water, which is really refreshing. <gasps> now I've got it in my nails. Okay. I used to not have that problem because I used to bite my nails. Mm. All right. How Next many, question. How many kids do you want? Two. Two. One for me. And one, one for, for you. me. Oh. oh, yeah. Two kids. In a, in a perfect world, I guess maybe a boy and a girl. Because, uh. We've already got our kids' names too. Yeah. It's Winston. That's our kid's name. He's our little fur baby. Um, we had a question about Winnie. Where is it? What breed is Winston? He is a West Highland Terrier. Persian. Hey Winnie. Yeah, five. Winnie. He's, he's, I'm looking for the ten. He's literally under our feet. I'm looking for the ten. I think it's the first one so far because it had caramel. Was this one? Uh, carrot. Oh, I thought it tasted Persian like love healthy. cake. Tastes like carrot cake, which I love carrot cake. But probably not for our wedding. Next question. Hit me. Um, In the face. When's the wedding? Easter uh, 420, the uh, 20th of April. What? The 20th of April, 420. Yeah, so it's Easter long weekend that we get married. And there you go. Next question. Uh, who wears the pants? Well, I've got pants on. So do you. I've got pants on. But who wears the pants? Look, okay. We're all... Uh, I'm going to say it's even. Yeah. Everyone out there is going to say it's Tennille. Everyone thinks that I wear the pants, but you ain't... You ain't here. You ain't seeing what it's like. Like... Alone. <laughs> well, you're still making it sound like I'm bashing and stuff. <laughs> no, but just because I have such a strong personality and I'm very straightforward and I know what I want and stuff like that, people think, oh, she's like the boss of the house or whatever. Yeah, but I get to do what he I want. He is the boss of the house. For example, I get to go play golf, I get to go to shows, I get to go away. If I didn't wear pants, I wouldn't be able to cut any of them things. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not a psycho. Uh, okay, that's a different question. Why would I... Oh, you... Calm Why? down, calm down, calm down. You're the one that needs to calm down, man. Yeah, yeah. duh. You're a bit hypo White here. chocolate and raspberry. <gasps> oh, fruit. I think I'll like this one. You can have the first bite. Okay. Okay, where's the honeymoon? Okay. Oh, this is a good question. This is a great question. The honeymoon is... Where we are we? First of all... We start in Brisbane, we go to Dubai. We stay in Dubai for a few nights, which is going to be sick and get all the Can't cool wait. stuff. Go up the tallest building, go on the fastest roller coaster go in the world. Go out to the safari. Go do things and that and stuff. Then from Dubai, we fly straight over to Greek islands. Mm. When we're in the Greek islands, I can't remember the names of the places that we're going to. Tanil hit us. So we're going Mykonos, Santorini, Eos. And Milos. And then before there, we've got a layover, like a night in Athens. And I'm so excited. Our accommodation looks amazing. Our room looks out to the Acropolis, I think. That, is that how you say it? The Acropolis? I, I can't say anything. I can say Sydney, Melbourne, Bundy. No, Acropolis, yeah. you would have liked it in history. Yeah, I know. I'll skip that one when skating. Yeah. But yeah, it's really cool. But we're... We're pretty excited. We'll try to film a bit of our honeymoon. We'll try to film all of it. Yeah. And then... Alright. And then, yeah. Oh, no, no. We're not done then. <laughs> then from there, from the Greek islands, we go back to Dubai, Dubai to get on another plane to go out to the Maldives. Which so is going to be excited. awesome. We got this place at... What's it called? It's called Lux North. And it only opened yeah, it last just opened. week. So we got there on a good deal. They're just... They're like, look it up. So it's L-U-X, North, the Maldives. They're like these little mansions on the water. 
like they just look like these little modern white houses but yeah we're really excited we weren't gonna do we never even thought of doing the mold eyes but we just thought a deal's a deal it's yolo it's so, like we're gonna live our best life live our best life what nationality are you i am half ukraine and moldy which is new zealand and I'm a, yeah I'm a and Aussie, one. is that a nationality? Yeah, Aussie. I guess then, English sort of thing. And then I, I'm, I don't know. Just. What know. are you? Hennessy is Irish. Okay, so it's Irish and Aussie. I'm, I'm basically Conor McGregor. I, I'm just going to sum it up and just say, yes, I am Conor McGregor. I am well, you Irish. do have the skin, like the. I have, if, when I grab my hair out, it is a little bit of strawberry golden, otherwise known as Ranger. What's this flavour? This flavour is cookies and mud cake. <gasps> I'm gonna like this. Oh. This video is probably like all over the place because we're like eating. It's a wedding cake test video muk yeah. mukbang. You know those things that Nine. everyone Nine. does? Mukbangy things? That's the way. So caramel and that is winning for me. Oh. We've got a pile of fucking. Alright. Lawn tips. That's really good. That's up there. I've got a, a question about my lawn. Um, all I can say is look, through summer, it turned to shit. It went. <laughs> it, it, a lot of people out there, your lawn's probably looking brown at the moment, and it's okay. It happens. Uh, I just went to town on buying um, sprinklers and. Fertilizer. Fertilizers. Just go go to Bunnings. You'll see me there. And um, yeah. just ask the guy there who works there what, what type of lawn you have for a start. It'll probably be, most likely it'll be the cooch or buffalo or a type of that. And um, there's certain fertilizers you can use for that. I use a buffalo one. Mm -hmm. Mine's called, my grass is Empire Zoysia. And what I do is, I've got the sprinklers on on, t on a timer and I do it every afternoon when pretty much as the sun goes down that's when I water it and it did go brown over summer but after two weeks it's looking it's looking 80% now it's looking, I reckon yeah way better it was so brown it was pretty sad it was pretty sad it's sad for Winston and here he is pick him up oh come on up. I can't get him up wait come here okay good boy everyone meet Winston oops sorry he loves going out and sunbaking on the grass every morning. Isn't he the cutest? Winnie, say hi. Oh, he can't sit like that. Sorry. So yeah, the, uh, water it every afternoon, in summer, every morning, in winter, is what I say. There you go. Tip from the lawman himself. Alright. What's another thing? What is one thing you love about one another? I love that I am able to be myself around you and that I don't have to hide anything. I pretty much just get to live my life. And the reason why I get to live my life is because you love me. Mm -hmm. And without you, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. <laughs> you're so cute. So why do you love me? Because you're funny. You don't get any of my jokes. Yes, yeah, so I don't get his jokes, but... But apparently I'm funny. Yeah, you are funny! Okay. Funny, caring. He always puts everyone first. Like others before yourself, I guess you'd say. Yeah. And you always want, he always wants to make everyone happy. Obviously, like if you follow him on um, Facebook. I don't, I don't like posting negative stuff. I don't think it's And fun. Um, Instagram, you would know that he likes to make people laugh. You put positive, positivity out there, it's going to come back at you. It's like a game of tennis. You hit negative, you... <laughs> <laughs> negativity. If you hit negativity out there, it's going to come back. You hit positive out there, it's going to come back. Life's a game of tennis. That it is. So yeah, I yeah. love everything. That was pretty much everything. Give him a kiss. Mwah. 
Uh, how did Liam propose? Ah, uh, this I, is a good one. Am yeah. I explaining this? Okay, explain. You said you asked me. Well, they asked me. I'm just reading the questions out. Okay. So, Christmas, not just gone the one before. Yeah, we didn't. Vague, I vaguely like I remember what we were doing really in the morning. We were just lazing around. We didn't do gifts that year. We we're getting ready to go to Sam and Sean's. Yeah, so we we're getting ready. Well, I was still in my pajamas. I'm not gonna eat that. It's carrot. Oh, it's carrot. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we were just us sitting down on the couch over here, and then Liam's like, "Oh, you got it. You know, we got We better get ready." And he was already ready, like dressed. And I'm just sitting here in my pajamas. I knew what was coming. Yeah, so he was full ready, which is weird because normally he takes the longest to get ready out of us. And then um, he's like, oh, you got to go get ready. So I got up and then he got up and then he like held my hands and he was so sweating. Like he was instantly sweating. You're sweating now. Because I'm in, oh, no, they're greasy now. No, no, no. And then he was just shaking like this. And then I'm like, what's wrong? Like, what, like, are you alright? And then he said, what did you say? Uh, will you marry me? No. Uh, no, but it was such like a, I don't know, when you... You don't think, you plan to say stuff in that time. And then it just doesn't and happen. And nothing comes out. It's just mumble, jumble. <laughs> and then eventually you get to the question and then that's how it happens. So, he's, yeah, but he, all I remember was, um, I've been wanting to do this. For a long time. For a long time. And then as soon as he said that, I was like, no, you're not. I was like, no, you're not. I was like, no, you're not. And then Winnie was just like jumping, like going hypo, like jumping up on us because we were standing up, jumping up on us. It's like he knew something was going on. He knew what was going down. It was so cute. Um, got down on the one knee. And then he got down on the one knee and then he was had the box and he's like, were you marrying me? And that was and my then, Christmas gift. Yeah, I, I just, yeah. I, Hugged him straight away. I didn't even look at the ring. Like, I just hugged him. And you had to then, ask again. You said, "Did I?" I said, "Yes, did I?" Yeah, because I was in shock for one. Because it was Christmas morning. It was happened in our kitchen, like kitchen area. So I was not expecting it at all. People go to town on like the big proposals and all that, which like, I wanted out, to hire out. Like, I nearly, nearly did it at Unify Festival in front of like thousands of people. No, you would have. But I, you imagine? Oh, I could have done it, but it was getting towards the end of year yeah. where I feel like you're overweighting. I don't. No, it's not that though. That's just not me. Like, I was I'm either going to go big or just at home, and I'm glad I went at home because it was just you, me, and Winnie. You couldn't even get your words out. Imagine if you were up on stage. You would have been silent. It would have been a thing. But yeah, so we got married at home, and it was. We didn't get married at home, we got engaged at home. Oh. It'd be cheaper if we get married at home, put it that way. Sorry, we got engaged at home and it was the best ever. Okay, uh, what's your training schedule? Training schedule, so Liam is like, he just went for a 5k run. 4k run. Oh, 4k run. Nearly, nearly down to breaking that 20 minute mark. So yeah, we do, we work out... Four days a week. Four days a week, we yep. go to Hit Australia, which is at Capalaba. Usually Monday to Thursday. And yeah, we love it. It's all high intense training with Muay Thai as well. At the moment, we're doing a challenge where, you know, it's an eight week challenge. You got to eat healthy and all that. Today is our cheat day. And so. No, this is an exception. No, yeah. It has, so, we looked it up, and apparently, wedding cake testing is 100% calorie free. Yeah. Um, it does not matter. You can eat as much wedding cake as long as you're testing and it doesn't count at all. Like it just means nothing. So like it's a, this is our job that like we have to actually pick. Yeah, so, so we're this very does fortunate. not count as our cheat meal. We're going to go get our cheat meal. No. Yeah. Oh, what's that one? That looks really thick like the cream. Red velvet. Oh, red velvet. Six. Why so low? Mmm. Mmm. I know my two straight away. His two are going to be the two that I don't like. But we need to pick three. I know. It's not it. Mm. So yeah, we do that four days a week. Train. Uh, we're halfway through our challenge at the moment. Yeah. 
We're smashing results, getting great results. And uh, we will... Liam's got his abs back, which he's happy about. I had him back till we started this. Um, <laughs> no, these don't count, that's right. They're mm. still there. But yeah, results we're so happy with. It's just crazy how much... Your body changes your in body such changes a short time. Your body changes when you're just changing your food. Oh, and training. No, but we always trained. Yeah. It was our food. It is so, food. But we, we weren't like KFC or like Macca's or Hungry Jack's, like every week eaters. We would just just eat what we want. Like. Yeah. I, I, I smashed two large mockers a day. Yeah, like he. Oh. So, like, there's like a litre of milk. He has milk hard out, so. Did. Don't know But yeah. So that's that. Good. Chocolate sour cream sponge. Chocolate sour cream. Blah blah blah. Sour, sour cream. That tastes really good. I'll be the judge of that. I'll give that an eight too. Okay, ready? Mmm. 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 It's good. It's not. It's not over the top. Yeah, I was about to say it's not too rich. Okay. Yeah. Here's one. How to not stress about wedding planning and did you get a planner? Yes, I did get a wedding planner. Her name was Tanil. <laughs> and she's doing a terrific job. Thank you, babe. Are you you're not too stressed about it? No. Not really bothered. Tanil Tanil originally wanted to elope. Yeah, so I wanted to elope. Anyway, now we got engaged on Christmas Day, Boxing Day, she was already emailing venues. No. I just wanted to elope. No, but, but I knew you didn't want to elope. Yeah, but we you... got engaged. How did you know you were going to get engaged? No, but I knew when uh, we got engaged that you wanted a wedding. Yeah, you're right. It'll be the best day of our life, so you'll be stoked. Yeah, so it hasn't been stressful for me. Um, I know it would be stressful for you know other people, but um, yeah, I think being quite an organised person it helps. I think at the end of the day, it doesn't matter so much to everyone else. Why, why like, why do you need to worry about what who like people that are coming? Mm. If something's not exactly what they wanted, does it matter? No, I mean it's only for a day. But that, but you know, we just want our day to go well. But they're also not going to remember like the little things. No, they're not. Like the place settings or like the... Yeah. Like I know there's going to be a lot of dudes that will go in there that day and not... <laughs> like they'll look at flowers but they won't think twice about them. No. And that's just straight up honesty. Like that's just what happens. Yeah. So if you're stressing about your wedding and what flowers to pick and... Then go easy on it. Go easy on yourself. Yeah. Don't stress. Just... But give yourself time. Like... How much you got a few drinks in ya? You need time. You definitely need time. You could change the flowers to dirt. No one will care. No, I never care. Everyone, everyone knows you're doing a terrific job. Uh, okay, all right, here we go. Last question. Biggest achievement? Biggest achievement? The house. Everything. This whole... House, I guess. Kennel of love. <laughs> kennel. So, yeah. I think when we decided we wanted to, we Winston's growling. What are you growling at? Nothing. Oh. Virtually, yeah. Our biggest achievement would have to be the house because it was a project that we started together. It was just a bit of dirt. Winnie. Winnie. So yeah, the house yeah. is definitely our biggest achievement. Um. We designed it sort of thing like we basically what we did was we just got the shell of a house built and then yeah. we did everything else ourselves we went privately for like the flooring and that but then we got our mate joe to come in do the lights yeah he did and an the amazing fans. job we um i did all the Decking. landscaping and pretty much stuff i had tanil's dad help me with the deck um i got my mates from work to come we did the driveway so we did a um, lot ourselves to save money so yeah yeah but our biggest achievement would be the house. The house. And, and now the wedding. Now the wedding. That's the next And then the honeymoon. And the honeymoon. And then a kid. Babies. We'll start off with one kid, but imagine if we've got twins straight up. Oh my god, I would love that. <laughs> would you? I don't know. I've got a mate with twins, he said it was pretty hard. <laughs> no, but then I'm done. Yeah. Like, 
done, literally. One I'm pregnancy. Just done. One pregnancy, but oh my gosh. You wouldn't be able to fit two kids in there. Yeah, true. But anyway. Imagine if you had triplets. I would Imagine you just became the next Octo Mum. I probably would not be um alive. Yes. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up there. I think this is just the start of what is going to be a massive year ahead. So we want to document the wedding, the planning of it, the honeymoon. honeymoon. Uh, hens. Hen oh, hens and bucks. Oh, wait. Or that'll be a week to watch. You better not break the camera. Break the camera? Uh, it's insured. Um, what else have we got? Like, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a time when I'm on stage again this year for something. Usually it just happens out of nowhere. I'm just playing. The band needs to get back together. The band needs to get back together. Come on, boys. Let's get the band back together. If not, I'll start another one. Um, <laughs> Shred Life, got a lot of stuff going on this year with that. And then maybe babies. Maybe babies. We'll document that. But yeah, this like our YouTube channel is just to basically document everything we're doing. So. Yeah, we're going to look back on this in a few years' time with our kids, hopefully. Yeah. And um, we'll be watching it on... Probably won't be a TV or a smartphone. We're, by then, it will probably be some 3D device that we're watching it on. <laughs> but yeah, bear with us. We're rookies. We're not like editing pros or like no. lighting pros. No, or... we're not. We're, we're pros just... at being us. I, I'm the best version of me, and Tanil's the best version of her. But that's about it. So, Win yeah. Winston's the best version of a dog. We need more bit. videos with Winnie in them. I think. Winston will be in heaps. We'll put him in a dog contest. He's going to be a little superstar. Hey. Yeah. Mm. All, right. All right. Let's wrap it up. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh. What one did we pick? I'm going for caramel, that first one still. So, caramel, caramel. espresso. And, and, and the, the cookies. And the no. was, what? Yeah, oh, the cookies and mud cake and the um, chocolate sour cream. Yeah, that was good too. Okay, so they're his three. And I'm going the chocolate and rose water, the chocolate, I think it was this one, the chocolate mud cake, I think it was. Have you picked three different ones to me? Yeah, sorry. Oh, well, this goes back to the pants question. <laughs> and I love red velvet. So we're pretty Yeah, much... that one wasn't good. Oh. So pretty much screwed. We're going to have to do... Um, it's be called Head, pa Head, Paper, Scissors, Rock. Head, Paper, Scissors, Rock? What's head? <laughs> what? What you, is it? You said heads, paper, scissors, Wait, rock. isn't that it? What's heads? <laughs> it's scissors, paper, rock. <laughs> What's heads? I thought it was head. That's rock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to wrap it up because right. we're just being silly. Alright, bye!